Halloween time is as good a time as any to talk about the Grim Reaper. When I was 16, I had a boy tell me, hey, you want to go for a ride? And I said, no, thank you. So he got in the car with some other kids, and they took off. Fifteen minutes later, he was dead. You never know when the Grim Reaper is going to show up and get you. And uh, he's going to be real busy, I guarantee you, the old Grim Reaper, for the next hundred years. Because there are six billion people on Earth right now that are going to die within the next hundred years. And I want to keep you alive as long as possible. And to keep the Grim Reaper away from you. you got to use some common sense in a lot of different things. Because he's always going to try to figure a way to get you. And it ain't just the Grim Reaper. you also got another enemy. It's called the Devil. One way or another, he's going to try to shorten your life. He might use booze or cigarettes. He might use uh, different kinds of drugs. He might use food or a car. There's all sorts of ways that you can get killed, and he would like to kill you quicker because he does not like mankind. Uh, so uh, what we also want you to know is since the Grim Reaper's coming at you, down the road, you're going to be on the other side. Now, if you've done some good works on this side, it's going to be better for you on the other side. Now, I know some say, oh, you've got to believe in Jesus and in this specific uh, religion uh, within the Christianity, or you've got to believe in Allah or Buddha or somebody else, and you'll have to forgive me. I think uh, that uh, good works is going to go a long way, no matter who is on the other side in command, in making your life better on that side, or you better off on that side by doing some good works here. And you start not by sending your money to corporations or uh, sending your money to tax-free uh, things that are supposed to help somebody on the other side of the world. Where you will do the best is to pick out somebody, be it in your town, your area, or even on your block, that's having a hard time or poor, what have you. And you help them every chance you get within reason. And uh, don't let them abuse you, but at the same time, if you can help them and they're grateful, go ahead and keep helping them. Because the Bible says, my Bible says, uh, when you've helped the least, you've helped him. And so this is one way to also give you a little bit of edge on the other side. And keeping it in mind, the old Grim Reaper is coming after you. This is Halloween time, but you don't know when he's going to show up. So this is McCook's Mr. Bill, we hope. It's a long time down the road for you. Rate this film.